good early evening everyone I'm just out here showing you what happens when people are too lazy to grow their own food they come and steal they come and steal in the deep darkness of the night and cut your vegetables they just pull that one right on up. That was a cabbage. Look at that. They cut all the way down to the stem on the collar. Pulled up the whole plant. Pick this one. And I guess they come to bed for this tonight. Now we have a security day. We just ordered. It just came today. So we can catch them. And they went over into this field, which was full. And they stole, they stole a lot of the kale, turnip, and mustards. They stole a lot of it. It was full. We hadn't picked all this. And they actually took out the time to do some picking. And they had the nerve to come over to my area, my side, and take up my collars that was here. They stole that, they stole this, and they stole right here. They just pulled the whole plant up and right here. Took out the time to do some picking over in here. I came out here, I was going to do another kind of video, but right now I'm just showing you how people are lazy. They're too lazy to grow their own food. They're too lazy to get out here and do the work, but they want to come to your garden and steal your food that you worked so hard for. But we're going to catch them, and we're going to prosecute them, and I hope whatever they got is worth it. I noticed that my little makeshift fence was torn down right here. I don't know what they were looking for in my garden because whatever I got is too heavy for them to tote. I'm just walking around. These are basically embedded in the ground. But what they did was come out here and stole vegetables out of our garden. So y'all need to beware. You got some thieves and some lazy son of a guns who are too lazy to put a seed in the ground and grow their own food. And they wait for you to do all your hard work, all your hard work to grow your food. And they think you're growing it for them. A bunch of lazy son of a guns. But that's okay. I hope they enjoyed the food they got. Because we're going to prosecute them if they come back on this land. We're going to prosecute them. And somebody going to have a gun sitting out here. Waiting on them. Wait tonight to come out here. If you come and ask, can I have some vegetables? The nine times out of ten, we're going to give you some. You don't have to come steal. Too lazy and sorry to grow your own food. So I'm just ranting because I'm ticked off at human beings. I, I can see the animals, the birds, the deers, even dogs and cats, but they're acting worse than an animal. The two-legged ones, they come out here, have the nerve to walk on property that they don't pay no taxes on, they don't own, and steal your food. My honey is very upset. They pulled the whole, they cut some of the plants, some of the collard plants, and they pulled the other ones totally up. Totally. You can't have nothing. So, I just, I, I came, like I said, out here for, I was going to come out here for a different reason. But, I just want you to know it's already started. People gonna realize the cost of food 
They're not going to want to go out and put a seed in the ground. They're not going to want to go out and grow their own food. Because they're lazy. Simply lazy. So they want to sit back and watch you. Put forth the effort. And once your food comes up and it gets cold, they want to come out here and steal from you. That's what they did. And there's a footprint right there where they marked down into the ground. Right there. And I don't know what spooked them and kept them from taking everything and my honey said he saw collard green leaves over there by the creek. So they must have come in off the street. Must have come in off the street. Came this way. And uh, went back that way. And they were plucking leaves as they left. Had the nerve to leave a trail. Isn't that something? So I'm going to end this video. I'm just going to go back inside. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to pray for people. Pray for their salvation. So um, y'all stay vigilant. I pray that you don't have to deal with something like this. But it's a sign of th things to come. Sign of times to come. And uh, it's already getting started. Protect your food as best you can. And we're getting ready to protect ours. This is Miss Gail over here at Georgia Peach Nut. You guys don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's not the kind of video I was hoping to do today. But, you know, sometimes things don't go as you planned. But... I was going to, these collards had started growing back. They had started coming back. And they came and snatched them up. Thank you guys for your time. I'll see you in the garden. Bye-bye.